Hi, I'm Chris Wilkinson from the Sealroy Corporation, makers of the Packrite bearing system and quality high performance packing. Here today to talk about butt cut versus skive cut packing rings is my brother, Seth Wilkinson. This is Seth Wilkinson, uh, technical service for Sealrite. And uh, as you can tell, uh, I'm the much better looking brother and uh, mom's favorite. So what we are going to talk about very briefly today is butt cut versus skive cut on your packing. There are many different ways to cut packing and uh, there are many different um, opinions about how you should cut packing, whether it be butt cut or skive cut. So just to clarify, butt cut, is when the ends are cut flat versus skive cut which are cut at an angle in relation to the shaft there are many reasons why you would do butt cut over skive cut namely being expedience um, it, is, it is a much faster way to cut packing. However, it is the least accurate and, in our opinion, not conducive to good sealing. Why people still continue to butt cut? Again, maybe they haven't learned a different way to actually cut packing. They don't want to take the time to do it, or they don't have the time to actually properly cut your packing into a skive cut configuration. The methods by which you would cut any packing also vary. You can use a mandrel, which is what I have here, which is already sized to the packing that I want to cut. The nice thing about utilizing a mandrel is uh, you can do so in a controlled environment and make sure that you have the most accurate cut of your packing, whether you're butt cut or skive cutting your packing. Another method is to use a packing cutter, which many companies sell packing cutters. Uh, it is a very quick, easy way to get a good skive cut on your packing, but there are some negatives to using a packing cutter. Packing is meant to be installed on a curved surface and you are now flattening that packing out and using a packing cutter so the cut ends may not mate as they should. So we advise that you overcut the size of that packing using a packing cutter, then final cut it actually using a mandrel or shaft sleeve or on the equipment, which is the last way that you can actually cut your packing is at the piece of equipment itself. While this is the, a good way to make sure that you are getting the most accurate cut packing for the actual application, it can be difficult because of the restraints of actually getting your hands in there, marking the packing and doing it properly. So whatever methods you have at your disposal, it's kind of good, better, best. In our opinion, mandrel is the best, packing cutter is second, and then actually going onto the machine itself is third. Every packing manufacturer, when you're buying bulk packing, it will come to you in a spool. You need to make sure that you cut that packing on the plane on which it is actually put onto the spool. The way that packing is manufactured and designed, it is con more conducive to the sealing surface when cut on the plane that it was put on the spool from the manufacturer. Okay, so I have my packing, I have my mandrel, and I have my packing knife. I'll first sh show you how butt cut is done. Take my cut end, I wrap it around my mandrel here, pinch it. You want to ensure that you are mating the surface all the way around the mandrel. Take my packing knife, make a mark here on the packing and cut straight down. From now there, I'm going to actually check to make sure that I have properly mated the two ends. As you can see, I'm a little long. So I'm going to take the end that I initially cut, flip it around, and I'm going to trim it like such. And now I'm going to check it again. There we go. Butt cut. Skive cut. I'm going to make my first roughly 45 degree angle. Now take that cut end, wrap it around the mandrel again, making sure I'm keeping positive pressure on that ring. From here, indicate here, indicate here. Now cut. Again, making sure that you're cutting straight down as much as possible. And again, I'm going to check 
my cut. I'm a little long again. So here, I'm going to take that cut end again and just slightly trim it. Like so. Check it again. And there, I have a good skive cut joint. Okay, pros of butt cut. It is very fast, much faster than skive cut, obviously. Cons of the butt cut. If you do cut it too short, if you're not accurate, what will end up happening here, I've cut this one intentionally too short. As you can see, now I've created a leak path inside that stuffing box. If I've cut it too long, like so, obviously I can trim it to size, but I've also heard of some people intentionally cutting it too long. And what they will do is they will push these two ends together, which in theory sounds good because now you are decreasing that leak path. But what you actually are doing negatively, two things. You've now expanded the packing at that joint. That pressure has to go somewhere. Most of the time, it's gonna go down on the shaft itself, creating a hot spot and a leak path. And also, the action by which doing this, you have then also compromised the integrity of the braid itself. Pros of sky, skive cut. Skive cut is typically more forgiving. As you will see here, I have intentionally cut this skive cut too short. When you do apply pressure with the following rings and then the gland follower, when this crushes together, by nature and design, these two ends will come together. Another pro of the skive cut is this sharp angle from the joint itself even if it is compromised. Now the fluid flowing across this path and then going on to the next joint, it is so sharp that by nature of design, it will decrease the pressure. So you are apt to get less flush and process coming out of the pump itself. On top of that, with the skive cut, those ends, even if cut too short or too long, are gonna maintain their integrity. Obviously, if you do cut it too long, trim it to size. Cons of skive cut, it definitely takes a little bit longer. It takes a little bit more attention to detail. However, the end result in sealing are going to be far better than with the butt cut. Okay, I understand that this subject will probably cause a lot of comments, uh, opinions, and I expect nothing less. I will say this, whether you use skive cut, whether you butt cut, or whether you use a packing cutter, always, always, always check every ring on the piece of equipment that you're going to install it in to ensure proper fit and sealing. Hope you enjoyed the video on butt cut versus skive cut. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact us at sealright.com. Thank you for watching.